You won't let me leave here. I can't. And why is that? If you walk out of here, you're a dead man. Both came back. And my head's not any better. Well, the bed rest helped. But? You have an embolism at the back of your brain. An embolism? You mean a blood clot? Yes. It's formed an occlusion in your internal carotid artery. That supplies blood to half your brain. If it blows, you're dead. This is exactly what you thought would happen before, isn't it? Yes. It was one of several possibilities, but it was obscured by the hematoma. Well, now that the hematoma is healing, we're able to see it for the first time. But wait, the nurse said I was just fine. Well, you are. To her. She doesn't have your x-ray vision. She doesn't have the x-rays. The nurse checks your vitals, looks after your blood work. Those are all fine. I don't get it, Doc. I feel good as new. Yeah, I'm sure you do. And you will feel fine. Right up until the minute that that clot moves from your internal carotid artery and blows inside your brain. Here, look at the film yourself. You'll see. You're a walking time bomb. You want me to do just sit here and wait? No. You need surgery. Immediately. Doesn't make any sense. I feel just fine. Well, I told you you uh, would. Listen, if this is so serious, why am I experiencing no symptoms, no headaches, no dizziness, nothing? Well, like I said, I'm it's... fine until I blow up and then, without warning, I drop dead? Well, no, not necessarily. Oh, God, I knew it, please. Look, you could have a stroke. The location of the embolism could move and you could lose control of one side of your body. But there's no way I can promise that. I've scheduled an OR here today. No, 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 Doc. I, I don't have time for major surgery. I have things to do. Well, you can't do anything if you're dead. I'm going to prep. Dr. Evans. Doctor, Mrs. Manning is awake and she's asking for her husband. Do you know where he is? No. Well, she has for a phone. I, I'm sure she knows his number. I could just... No. No phone. Doctor, she's gotten much stronger and she's very intent on seeing her husband and her daughter. Under no circumstances can she have contact with anyone right now. I don't understand. Look, you don't have to. Just follow my orders. There are very good reasons why Mrs. Manning can't have visitors yet. If you could see how agitated she was... Then give her a sedative. I'll try. Good. And I promise, as soon as I'm finished here, she can see anyone she wants. By this time tomorrow, that ugly red blotch will be gone. You're right, it sure is ugly. <laughs> well, the orderlies will be here in a minute to take you down to the OR to prep you. Before we get started, Doc, I just have some questions. Sure. Exactly how risky is this surgery? Oh, every surgery has risks. But I've performed this a hundred times. You're otherwise healthy. But my odds of dying on the operating table are what, do you think? Uh, are you asking for a number? Yes, I am. Well, that's hard. I, I don't One hundred percent? Isn't that right, Doc? Isn't that the plan? What? <laughs> Who do you think you're fooling? I invented this car. Oh, it's right here in the chart. Yeah, just like every test of Kay Delgado showed she was dying of a brain tumor. Please, Greg, I know what you can do. I've paid you to do it. No, uh, not exactly. Do you have a problem with our arrangement? Remember the one where your family is spared from the ugly truth? Look, the price is too high! I can't do this anymore. Too late, Greg. You're in it too deep. What do you want to do now? Repent? No. I can repair the damage. Really, how? Because no matter what you do, Taya Delgado will still be dead. Does you feel any better? Killing me wouldn't have worked. I'm not going to stop. You're embarrassing both of us. Ross has his instructions. What? My brother knows everything about you, Greg. And if he doesn't hear from me, he'll make sure your family and every paper in the entire country gets the dirt on Greg Evans. And you have nothing to worry about then, right? Let me fix you. Seriously? 
Give it up, man. I can't. <sighs> Greg, why should I ever believe you'd want to help someone like me? I want the dying to stop. My job is to keep people alive. If I can prevent someone Save else's death... ringing for your next AMA meeting. Thank you, Greg. I have places to go, a teenage girl to see. I don't think so. What the hell is that? For sedative. For surgery. What oh, the hell it is? It's in the needle, Greg. The poison you wanted me to give to Teo Delgado. Oh, 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 oh. Want it? It'll kill you too. Hi. Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for Dr. Greg Evans. Oh, I, I think he's in there with the patient. In there? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm.